Hey, this is James Pelton, and for the last few months, I've been doing a wallet competition. So I put $250 into nine projects so far, and we're gonna just see which ones do best, okay? That's kind of the idea behind this. And one of the things that you can use these videos for is you can see, hey, if I have $250, where might I wanna put it? And it's been fun just seeing where things end up. So as I like to do, let's start with the losers, okay? So we already had Juicy Fields and Stable Fuel that we took off. We're gonna go ahead, even though I think I can get a refund, I'm gonna go ahead and just take Stable Fund off of there, okay? Just because it's too complicated with the refund and moving to a new version and all that, I'm just gonna call that a loss. Also, Yield Notes, I'm gonna delete that, put it down here, and I'm just gonna call it a loss for the time being. Okay, I don't think we're gonna be able to, it's too complicated to figure out what to do with that on the spreadsheet. We'll put that in the losers column. Here, I'm even gonna label them losers. Nothing against them or their teams or people who are still investing. And I'm not saying yield nodes is gone. I'm not saying stable fund is gone. Just for the purposes of this video, it's not gonna work. So then I wanna add in a couple more. So I'm gonna add in Optimus. This is from the comments, and if there's other things that you wanna comment, please hit the like button, and also comment what other projects that you'd like to see me get into. And the other one was Novatech. Okay, so let me know what other ones that you would like, and I will put them in as well. So the first is Drip, so we're up to $440, just been hydrating. The numbers could be a little bit higher if I hydrated more regularly, but we're at $440.59 after about a month of hydrating. So we'll do one month return equals O2 divided by J2 minus one. So that's a negative 0.63% return for the month. Then we'll do total return. Look, you get spreadsheet lessons also. Total return, we're looking at D2 is the original, so O2 divided by D2 minus one. So 94%, whoopsie, 94.54% up. So we'll do average monthly return. Look, you can just get all sorts of data. We'll do Q2 divided by four. So Drip has averaged me 23.63% a month. So actually that's about what it's advertised and it's actually about performed that in the last four months. EMP will do next. I understand that the detonator was not the best place to put this, but we are up to $380.18. So one month, it's actually up 63%, and in four months, it's up 56%, which is average 14% per month. Next is Grape Finance. Grape not doing very well. Peg has been way down, so let's see, where are we at value-wise? I have nine nodes. Yeah, it's really actually even hard to tell on their new dashboard. So I have $201 in great finance now. So one month, negative 5% total. So I've been averaging negative 4% on my grape equal node there. Next, we're gonna go over to Horde. So coming over to Horde, we have six souls rune, which are worth 100 bucks a piece. So we have about $631 in Horde right now. And again, there's a big debate about, I know in the comments this comes up every single time, but hey, that's not actually profit. You can't take that out, but I still think it has value. Like you wouldn't give away this account for free because it's making money. You give it away for 600 bucks anyways. Feel free to argue about it in the comments. More comments makes YouTube think it's a better video. So feel free to argue with me in the comments. But it's making 22% this month and it's averaged 38% monthly return. Next, we're gonna go over to MDB. And we could really be doing the farm here, which would get us more passive income. I don't know, maybe I should make a second one. Let me know if you think in the comments, hey, do Phoenix Plus or do MD, do the MDB and B farm. Happy to check those things out as well. But for now, we just got our money in MDB staking. Current have 28,441. It's actually a little hard to find how, the value of what I have in there but it is $395.90 is what I currently have in there. So in the last month, 7.8% total return. What was my first? We'll do G6. And I actually want the returns to be C, 
which is the actual amount invested, not the starting value because there's taxes on some of them, but I wanna figure that in. So these are my actual percentages. Drip, 76% over four months. EMP, 52%. Grape, negative 19. Hoard, 152. And MDB, 58.36. So now I'm gonna add two new ones. So the first one I'm gonna add is Optimus. And I don't actually, I actually don't have much on Polygon, so it's actually kind of hard for, I'm just gonna take uh, a little bit from my other account. So let's see, $250 divided by, it's at currently $1.53, so I'm gonna just send 163. I'm gonna send this just to this new wallet. So there we go, got my competition wallet in, got $251.63. $51.63. So we'll start tracking that one for next time. And then for Nova Tech, what I'm going to do is I'm too lazy to create a new account. Okay. I'm so sorry. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put the actual results that we get each week and just compare it. If you had put $250 into Nova Tech, here's what you would have gotten. Okay. So I'm going to do that. So we'll start it out $250 and then we will see for next time. So when you add up the total amount, so I took the total value of everything except for these two new ones. And the last month we actually had a negative 12% return. So with it, if you consider yield nodes gone and stable fund gone and stable fuel and juicy fields, 12% for the month and negative 7% total. So if you look at total return, number one right now is hoard. Number two is drip. Number three, MDB. Number four, EMP. Number five, Grape. And Yield Nodes, Stable Fund, Stable Fuel, and Juicy Fields are out of the running. And we're going to add in Optimus and Novatech to start next time. And actually, I really enjoy this. This is fun just to see how it's going to work. What I need from you guys, please hit the like button on your way out. If you have other projects that you would like me to throw in here, they need to be fairly easy to get in, fairly easy to track how they're doing. Let me know and I'm happy to add some more in here. The more the merrier. It's actually been a fun experiment for me. So let me know what you'd like in the comments down below. But yeah, I appreciate you guys and have a great rest of your day.